are you operating a WooCommerce online store and drop shipping your products from various suppliers or warehouses? Or perhaps you want to limit what kind of shipping methods you want to use for different products because of various restrictions or other assumptions you have, then we have a solution just for you. Hey, it's Dmitry from One Team Software, and we are going to look at our shipping packages plugin for WooCommerce. Our shipping packages plugin for WooCommerce allows you to define a flexible rule, which is going to be used to group various products into shipping packages. Then for these shipping packages, you can define different shipping method restrictions for cases when you want to offer one kind of shipping method for one type of products and another kind of shipping methods for other kind of products, as well as it will allow you to charge separate shipping fee for each of the packages, which is very convenient in the cases when you ship products from various locations or for example, some of the products have some restrictions which will allow you to use only certain kind of shipping method and other products, they don't have these kind of restrictions and they cannot be combined with these products. So it's just perfect solution for that. Without further ado, let's jump right into the, this tutorial and see how you can set it up and use it for your success. So let's start with the installation of shipping packages plugin. First of all, we'll go into plugins section of your website, then we'll hit add new, and then you will just search for shipping packages. And uh, then uh, you will hit install here, but I already have it installed. So I will hit activate. And then we will go into settings of this plugin. For that, you can just uh, search for shipping packages and uh, hit settings. All right, so now we are in the settings of the plugin. Uh, as you can see, we've linked here possibility to contact us. So in case you have any questions, issues, feel free to contact us. If you will click, it will open your contact form. We'll be more than happy to assist you. Then uh, there is a possibility to obviously enable it as well as there are a few extra options available about which we will talk a bit later. Then you can see that uh, there is a possibility to run it in debug mode. It helps to see if um, there are some issues or how it, what it is exactly doing in order to understand what might be wrong or something like that. As well as there are two different types of how you can uh, do debug. You can either write it into PHP debug log or WooCommerce notice. A WooCommerce notice, it's basically text which will be displayed in the cart itself. So first of all, uh, before continuing, uh, let's do this. Uh, I will save it without shipping packages enabled and we will uh, check the cart of our website. So here's the cart. I will quickly refresh it so we'll see everything is uh, new. All right, so we've got two products here. Uh, one product has uh, one shipping class, another one has another shipping class. Other than that, they belong to the same vendor here. And as you can see, we get regular total and selection of uh, shipping methods for this order. We'll go back here and enable shipping packages plugin. Uh, then, as you can see, there is uh, one option here which is called group by. It's uh, essentially the main setting of the plugin which lets you to control uh, how your packages will be created. In this case, I've used a shipping class as a group by option along with the vendor. So we'll go and save this setting and then we'll go into cart and refresh it. What we can see now, the list of the products exactly the same, which is expected but the cart totals has changed. Uh, right now, what is happening, we're getting two shipping uh, selections here. And over here, it's a bit maybe hard to see, you can see that Ascent X5 frame is within this package and Pico X V2 frame is within this package. Might be very useful uh, if 
for example, you have one product in stock and another product you produce on demand. It will be very handy in this case, so then you may want to charge shipping for one product, but not to charge shipping for another product. Uh, what we can do next, just uh, for the sake of the test, say if we will change group by to category, and there are a lot of options here, you can see uh, there is like shipping class, product ID, which will uh, effectively mean that each product will be packaged separately. Attributes, categories, first category, tags, first tag, author, taxonomy. This plugin has a lot of power in order to achieve exactly what you are looking for uh, based on your uh, use case. So say we use first category of the product and I will save the setting. Uh, that will go back to the cart, we'll hit refresh. We can still see that our, our products are in separate packages. You can notice here, package name is listed over here. And uh, if I will open these products separate tabs, so you can see that this one uh, is in five inch drone frames, and this one is in two inch drone frames. So they are still separate because uh, they are in different categories. Uh, then for example, we can change them to be based on something else, like uh, for example, vendor. In this case, vendor is the same. So I will expect these products to be in the same package. So I will refresh. All right, and you can see that selection is only one and they are all in the same package effectively. As well as uh, name we can see here is the package name uh, taken from the group by rule. Uh, and let's talk about it for a second. Over here, there is an option which is called use auto package name. And uh, when enabled, it will essentially use value of the group by option. So in this case, for example, vendor is uh, flex RC and it is displayed over here. If I will use shipping class, I will save it again, go back into cart and refresh it. And you can see that one name is flex RC Canada, which is shipping class and another one is run cam, which is a shipping class of another product over here. One of the options here is shipping method per package or per cart. So by default it uh, goes as shipping method per package and we can change it to be shipping method per cart and save it. Go here and refresh it. And right now you can see what has uh, happened. We do still have uh, two packages, although it's not really reflected here and you still have one shipping method selection. If you use, for example, marketplace card plugin, either or package order, so them together, system will still take advantage of uh, the packages, although visually shipping selection will be only happening once. Other option I would like to talk about, and let me here switch back to package in order to make it a bit more representative, is shipping restrictions. So in shipping restrictions, what it means is that you can specify for which shipping class uh, what shipping methods can be offered. Uh, if we will go back, uh, let's save it again and quickly go back into cart, refresh it quickly, just so we'll explain you uh, what I mean. All right, so here we have shipping class uh, FlexRC Canada and here is shipping class Rank Cam and uh, all the same shipping methods. But uh, what if I want uh, for FlexRC Canada to offer only Canada Post shipping methods and for Rank Cam local pickup and this one? Uh, for what it's worth, they come from other plugins, so it, they won't have exact uh, name there, uh, but uh, I, we will figure it out here. For that, we have shipping restrictions uh, for shipping classes option here. 
and uh, we've got one which is uh, rank cam which is th this one and it allows you to use easy post shipping pro it's the one which is showing this canada post shipping uh, rates and say i will uncheck it here and another we have flex rc canada which is over here and we will keep easy post shipping but then we won't want to have that one that one and that one we won't want to have any of these and we will save setting and go back to the card and refresh it all right now you can see that uh, it looks uh, fairly different from before uh, as you can see flex rc canada is getting only canada post and another one uh, rank cam is offering local pickup and flex rc canada which come from two other plugins uh, we developed for example if we won't have any of these set up so i'll just uncheck them like that all right so i've got everything unchecked and we have display all available shipping methods uh, enabled so we'll hit save okay so now we will change that to do not display any shipping method uh, the thing is if you have it checked but nothing is selected here it will behave kind of the same as display all available shipping methods so in order to engage this option we'll have to enable something here like for example for flex rc canada we will check easy post shipping pro hit save then we go back to the cart refresh it and you see the difference now uh, we've got easy post uh, shipping methods which are canada post in this case uh, for flex rc canada package and we've got nothing for ancam and it allows you exactly to achieve what it says to to restrict what you want to be displayed for and just yet again we will go here and for example enable for it flexible shipping and free shipping save changes and go back to the cart all right so you can see now what i was talking about and this is pretty much it as you can see uh, the settings are fairly simple uh, only one part i guess we didn't look at is debug if we will hit debug and you will save we'll go back to the cart again refresh it and you will get a lot of text that helps you to understand what's going on as well as you can uh, send us this information and we'll kind of decode it in order to uh, help you with uh, your issue if you will have any i will uncheck that and one item i wanted to cover with you quickly marketplace card plugin which is going along with uh, shipping packages very nicely uh, so we'll go back into plugins place card activate it then we'll go to the cart and refresh it and now you can see that cart is looking fairly different from before as you can see packages are visually separated so one package is over here with a shipping method selection just underneath and second one as well has the name on top product and shipping method selection over here as well as coupon is over here and cart totals over here if we'll go to checkout checkout page also looks uh, fairly different and you can see that uh, the shipping details are at the top like that and they're hidden by default you can click change in order to enable the form and then we have uh, our packages listed totals with uh, payment methods over here marketplace card plugin works well with uh, most of the themes available on the market uh, we will have the list uh, listed in the plugin description itself so you can always check or you can ask us in case you are interested so we will check before you will purchase this plugin and I would say this is it for now. And uh, as I mentioned, just the last words that there are plenty of possibilities available for shipping packages, what you can do. Uh, the most uh, popular use case is, for example, you don't want to have multiple vendors, but you have your products 
uh, physically located in different places, either because you drop ship or maybe because you use different warehouses and you would like people to pay separate shipping rates for different packages. All right, I hope you enjoyed my video and found it useful. And I'm pretty sure that this plugin will serve you really well. In case of any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on our website, oneteamsoftware.com. Uh, also, please feel free to leave a comment there. We will respond all the questions you will have. Subscribe to our channel in order to stay on top of everything we release, all the tutorials, plugins, and so on and so forth. There is a lot of content planned to be published here. So thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.